nothing is death. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, God has no respect of a person, sinner, or saint. If you sow to your flesh, you're going to reap corruption unto death, physical death. If you sow to your spirit, you're going to reap life everlasting. And so even when we miss the mark and get in the flesh and sin and become rebellious and disobedience, whether unintentional or un unintentional, we should be quick to repent. Because if we continue in sin, the word says, if you continue in sin, you shall die. You're going to die. You continue in sin and thinking God going to just, oh, he's just going to forgive you, but you ain't repenting. You're going through the motions, deceiving yourself, being to hear the word, not doing the word, deceiving yourself, thinking that you're not going to suffer the consequences of sowing to the flesh. You're continuing sin, hoping that grace may abound. You're abusing grace. I know I used to do that. See? Deceiving myself. Thinking that, you know what I'm saying, I have a heart after God, I'm faithful coming to church, and I serve, and you know what I'm saying, I praise, and I worship, and I pray, I deceive, I help, I serve, I do good, I'm not out there doing anything else. This is just my little pet peeve. It's, you know what I'm saying, it, it's not harming nobody. It's just, you know what I'm saying, just my guilty pleasure, my besetting sin. I mean, you know, I ask God to forgive me, but then I continue in it. And then I feel convicted and I ask God to forgive me. And then I continue in. I go back and do it again. So this, I'm not really repenting. I'm just confessing and acknowledging it. But I ain't repenting of it. There's a difference between confession and repentance. See? You can confess. You know what I'm saying? But to confess is to turn to God, to acknowledge him. That means that we're supposed to turn away from the sin and forsake it. See? That's repentance. Actually, repentance comes before confession. So we, if we go to God and say, forgive me, we already done turned from the sin, repented, and we ask him to forgive us. But then if we go back to it, we ain't repented. We ain't deceiving God. We're deceiving ourselves. We have not truly repented. We're just going through the motions, okay, of a religious, you know what I'm saying, duty. And that is hypocrisy. That is self-deception. We ain't fooling nobody else. We sure ain't fooling God. He knows our hearts. He know we ain't repented. You know, as soon as, you know what I'm saying, we go and say that, and we can be sincere as we want to be and go right back to it. That is not repentance. God knows, you know what I'm saying, that we have not truly repented. And we should stop deceiving ourselves and think we repented. And that God somehow, you know what I'm saying, forgave us. No, he didn't forgive you because you didn't repent of it. You just pretty much acknowledged it. But you didn't repent of it. See? We repent, then we confess. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But if we have not repented of the sins, then we are, have not received forgiveness of sins, pardon of sins. And we need to stop deceiving ourselves. Because we're running, going through the motions back and forth. No, we have not received the full benefit of forgiveness, the pardon of sins, the cleansing from all unrighteousness. Because we have not repented. Godly sorrow works repentance, not to be repented of, not to be regretted, that I regretted, that I repented, because I want to do it again. That ain't repentance. If it's truly godly sorrow, it purges, it chastens, it scourges, you know what I'm saying, that sin. You know what I'm saying? Even we even think about it. We be quick say, nope, let me not focus on that. Let me not watch that. Let me not listen to that. Let me not uh, get no place to the devil, not access to that. Let me guard my heart. Let me guard my ears. Let me stop resisting the Holy Spirit and quenching the Spirit. Let me submit to God fully and completely, wholeheartedly, with my whole spirit, my whole soul, my will, emotion, my body, okay? And then I can be empowered by the Spirit of God, the power of God to resist the devil, and he shall flee from me. Let no man say when he is tempted, he is tempted of God, because God cannot be tempted with evil. But each man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. And when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, it brings forth death. The wages of sin is death. If you continue to practice it, you shall die. See? Nobody want to hear that truth. They want to continue in sin. You know, so I know you're running to death. Running toward death. You're hindering your fellowship and communion with, with the, our Heavenly Father, Jehovah, His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, His Holy Spirit, grieving and quenching the Holy Spirit. 
Okay, rebelling against the will of God, his holy living word, and his ministers who ought to be a godly example, you know what I'm saying, to minister and dispense that word of God and be a